Greetings. My name's Harvey Withington. I'm one of the co-creators of the hit new adult animation series, Mandela Days. And by you know hit, I mean, <clears throat> we're intending it to be a hit when we release episodes. Um, you know, just trying to be a little positive about things. So anyway, welcome to this Adobe Character Animator tutorial. Um, we're going to cover a topic I'm referring to as emotion-based character rigging. This is part one of, I think, what will be a three-part series. The tutorial should be easy to follow along. I'm giving you the templates. I'm giving you the scene to import into Character Animator. And it's all pre-rigged. So um, it should be as easy as importing one of the Adobe standard puppets or pretty close to that. And I'm going to go through it step by step. So don't worry. If you've never seen character, actually you'd need to have seen Character Animator, at least looked at it, open the program, click around a bit, you know, make it crash once or twice. But once you've got the basic knowledge, we should be good to go. So, shall we get cracking? We've been making this show Mandela Days. Um, we all found ourselves in COVID lockdown and wanted to work on a project remotely, but without involving too many people. And we thought that uh, with the advancements in Character Animator, it might enable us to do a full cartoon series without all the overheads of traditional animation. Now, of course, we were never going to get the exact, um, you know, beautiful hand-drawn frame by frame effects that you see in commercial animations with large teams. But what we realized is um, the strength that we had is that we could uh, make our show focus on character and story rather than the aesthetics of the show. So we figured let's make use of the strengths of Character Animator, but also develop it a little bit further so that it can tell our story and, and tell the story with the emphasis that we have, not just little jokes. And yes, I know if you've seen the pilot, it is really just a gag based thing. But when we get into this three season arc that we're planning to do, we really want to be able to tell a character based story. We decided that we would try and get a process that would give us more emotion in our characters. And we came up with this emotion based character rigging. It's the type of show that I want to see more of. I figured why not share the template that we're using and you guys can get the benefits of the, the few months of development that we've put into getting to this point. Let's get into it. I'll show you a bit of like what the, the Gary puppet can do now as opposed to what he could do before and uh, give you a bit of an idea of how that works. We've set up the puppet so that it's got three body positions, which is it's very good exercise for Gary. He might lose some weight if we keep him doing that. Um, and then you got your head turns, so this way. The main event, I guess, is the 10 emotions that Gary's able to express. So what we've got is uh, your neutral, normal uh, expression. This is Gary not feeling much at all, or just kind of looking dumb, which is his default state. Then you've got happy Gary. Um, this is your kind of tired, I, I guess, or maybe a bit sad emotion. His eyebrows also tilt, as you can see, they tilt down a little bit. And then we have this kind of um, almost in a daze kind of thing, maybe maybe a little bit hungover, maybe quite tired or whatever. And you can see the difference between those two is the size of his pupils also change. So that's something that's supported in the template. And then we've got uh, the most important one, I think, is drunk Gary, because he's going to spend some time drunk, let's face it. So uh, drunk Gary there, and then fearful Gary. Now this is going to be used pretty much any time the landlord comes to ask for the rent, I believe. So that should be a fun one to use. And then you've got um, kind of, I, I think I think of this as more skeptical Gary, like, uh, I don't know if that's really true, you know? Um, but actually that could be um, used for other emotions as well. It's quite a multi-purpose one. And then we've got this, which is supposed to be very sad, Gary, or very upset, Gary, like 
You could imagine perhaps we could animate some tears spilling over those bottom lids. And then you've got Angry Gary, and he's getting a little bit angry now. Um, and you've got Absolutely Furious Gary. How dare you, mother... You know, um, basically, I don't want to go too crazy, but um, you can see he looks pretty mad when you do that. So um, with all those emotions, um, it works with all the head turns. So if I pick um, Drunk Gary, my favorite, you can see the head turns. He maintains the expression. Same with angry or very angry or whatever. So we can combine all of these emotions and all the head turns. And if you wanted to do another head turn, you could. It would just multiply out the template by five. And the template actually supports being able to add um, additional head turns, additional body positions, and I guess additional emotions with a little bit of work. But of course, the hard part with all these things is creating the artwork and then organizing it. So we're gonna go into video two and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So hopefully now you're, you're, you're stoked, you're primed, you're pumped, you're ready to go and get your character artwork and chuck it into the template. So the first step to do is go to our website, download the template using the link in the description, um, get it ready, open it up in Photoshop, and then you'll be ready for the second video, part two of the series, where we organize the artwork. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, go check out the Mandela Days pilot. We're really trying to do a great show and the pilot may not show off uh, all of the complexity of what we're doing, but hopefully when you see a little hint of how much love we're putting into these puppets and how much work we're putting into Character Animator, you'll understand. We're gonna make a pretty uh, interesting show. So, you know, go in, consider the Kickstarter if you can. If not, share it with your friends because that helps us probably just as much or more as actually financially contributing. Thanks for watching. I hope it helped and I'll see you in the next video.